Hello to everyone and I want to show you a small tutorial how to uh, how to retarget the actors prop animation uh, in this situation uh, we will talk about the ball animation uh, in the actors hands and now I merge the character uh, to the scene and this character uh, is a sample character that you can mm, upload from that, th that you can get from my blog so with the free available um, for using and uh, uh, the simple way to get the animation uh, retarget animation uh, from actor to character is just to assign the input um, input uh, of the actor and as you can see the um, adjust the time range for more frames and now you can see that um, that the actor uh, is uh, passing the animation to the character so the character is controlling by the actor but uh, by the default the character I is not uh, copy as close uh, as it can uh, the actor's pose so we have to adjust some parameters of IK for hands, for chest, for spine, for head rotation for example to uh, to give it some better looking for character which is coping the actor's animation and actor's pose and now let's talk about the very important parameter of uh, actors transferring which is action space compensation mode so I, I have entered the um, the manually value is 27 that uh, after some test I, I make a decision that it's um, much more suitable for the character which is coping the uh, actors animation what is this action space parameter so this is the value 27 this is the value as the scale value uh, in difference between the actor and the character so we can uh, just multiply the actors animation curve uh, by the 0.27 of translation to to get the characters animation so this is like difference difference between um, between the actor and character and this difference we can use into the prop animation because the recent any standard um, functionality in motion builder to retarget uh, prop animation with the character uh, automatically so we have to do it manually and uh, now I create the sphere and uh, using the action space value I calculate the sphere radius uh, as we have the difference in spaces in actor spaces and character spaces this is 027 so I multiply the radius of the actor sphere by the action space value and uh, the result is the radius of the characters ball so um, the radius of the ball that is suitable for the character for the characters action space so here we go here is our ball and now I uh, just fit it uh, to the hands so that uh, um, adjust the pivot point um, yeah posi position give the position that uh, the character will get the ball into the hands transferring process for uh, using the action space it's uh, really really simple for doing this uh, we have to use for example relation constraint or it can be expression constraint so a a any way to uh, to put the action space compensation value uh, multiplying value so this is a relation constraint and now i will add the uh, receiver and sender so receiver will be our sphere um, and i set the local transformation because um, uh, I show the uh, really uh, simple example and if the prop is connected to the actor's left or right hand you have to choose the right pivot point uh, according which uh, 
uh, the value will transfer in. So, and uh, in our relation constraint, I uh, put the scale um, box and uh, enter there the compensation uh, action space value and uh, apply the constraint. So now when I play the animation, as you can see, uh, the actor is uh, taking the ball and uh, moving it in hands in right way. So everything is done okay and working. As you can see, the character play with the ball as the actors do. So I hope uh, the, this uh, tutor uh, will help you to to do in such uh, such a work with the props retargeting. So good luck. See you on nail2.com.